blackonlocal.news with charjohnson.com. Honest, fair, black everywhere. What's up? I'm Char Johnson with AkronLocal.News, where you can get all of your Akron Local News. This show is powered by the Reporter Newspaper Online.com. In local news, the City of Akron Recreation and Parks Division is excited to announce another summer of no cost and low cost programs. From live musical acts throughout the neighborhood parks and summer camps for kids of all ages to pools and splash pads. The city of Akron offers opportunities for everyone to enjoy the summer season. And that's pools, swimming pools. In national news, on April the 5th, Representative Alma Adams, Democrat, North Carolina, and Representative Nakima Williams, Democrat, Georgia, held a press event on legislation to provide student death relief. Student loan death payments were scheduled to resume on May the 1st, 2022, at the end of the moratorium. But the Biden administration announced on April 5th that they will extend the moratorium. Student loan debt impacts 41 million Americans, and Adam and Williams pointed out that the black borrowers are disproportionately impacted. Three bills have been offered by the Congressman. The Clean Slate through Consolidation Act, the Clean Slate through Repayment Act, and the Student Loan Rehabilitation and Credit Score Improvement Act. In sports, the State Department has now classified WNBA star Brittany Griner as wrongfully detained in Russia and her case is being handled by the Office of the U.S. Special Presidential Envoy for Hostage Affairs. Roger Carstens, a State Department official, confirmed to CNN on Tuesday. Well, as we go into entertainment, one of my favorite segments and things that I love to read about we're going to put a little bit of char into it. Well, in entertainment, the man who tried to take Dave Chappelle out during his show earlier this week has pleaded not guilty. According to TMZ TV, the man who hopped on stage with a welding knife and attacked the comedian was identified as 23-year-old Isaiah Lee. Lee made his first appearance in a L.A. courtroom Friday morning to face four misdemeanor charges. Pictures taken by Backgrid show him looking very much hurt after he received a beatdown at the Hollywood Bowl Tuesday night. Mr. Lee's right arm was in a cast and in a sling as he entered the courtroom and entered a not guilty plea on all charges. So what was the reason for all this? Well, Dave Chappelle actually spoke with the guy and asked why he attacked him. His answer was very strange. Chappelle says Lee told him this was all about getting attention for his grandmother, who he said has been forced out of her neighborhood because of gentrification. Wow. I hope he heal up um, all right. And I hope he figure out a better way to bring some attention to what's going on in his grandmother's neighborhood. Also in entertainment, hip hop icons Wu-Tang Clan and Nas are hitting the road this summer for a North American tour. The tour title, the New York State of Mind Tour, launches August the 30th in St. Louis, Missouri, before heading to cities including Toronto, Atlanta, and Houston, and wrapping up October the 4th in Los Angeles. Oddly, there is no stop in New York. Tickets for the New York State of Mind Tour are on sale now. This tour stops in our neck of the woods on September the 7th at the Blossom Music Center in Cahaga Falls, Ohio. Thanks for tuning in with this week's weekly wrap-up. And make sure you keep coming back. I am your girl, Char Johnson, and I'm out. Honest, fair, black everywhere.
AcronLocal.News. I am your girl, Shar Johnson, with your weekly wrap up. This show is powered by the reporter newspaper online.com.